visited Raina Marie Mungin's apartment at the Lincoln Houses in Harlem back in December 2019 with public advocate Jamani Williams. The state government has basically zeroed out. The federal government doesn't do nearly enough and the city has more to do as well. Now, two years later, the public advocate's office is back. Munjin says not much has changed. We still have mold in the bathroom? Yes, we do. The public advocate's office's visit this time comes with a detailed five-point proposal for change in NYCHA. Do something now. Williams wants to create a grading system for repairs, similar to the one used by HPD, to prioritize the most serious repairs and require NYCHA to have tenants sign off on repairs before a ticket is closed. Also, better communication, informing residents of lengthy repairs and an immediate investigation into badly done repairs. Stop closing tickets before you certify that the repairs are done. Also, Williams wants tenants who live in NYCHA buildings converting to private management called RAD or PACT to get clear guidance on how to file complaints and forensic accounting for all funds allocated for repairs. And a NYCHA spokesperson tells us NYCHA has worked with HUD and the Federal Monitor since 2019 to fundamentally transform the authority. NYCHA has a $40 billion capital need and the public advocate is aware of the issues NYCHA faces and should use its platform to call for increased capital funding. And New York City's public advocate has named NYCHA the city's worst landlord three years in a row, even creating a special category for NYCHA. Their direct message for Mayor Adams, fix the broken repair ticket system now.